We also want to congratulate the government of DRC for facilitating the renewal of the mandate of um, the East Africa Regional Force for another six months. And the agreement we've had this morning again, Mr. Chairman, that the M23 and all the other armed groups will now proceed to cantonment and uh, a mechanism has been agreed this morning, a time-bound agreement, and it is appropriate and in order for us to say that as a region, the coming together of our heads of state and the deployment of our military in Eastern DRC has given us very positive results. It was the right decision and a challenge that has faced DRC for 20 years, we can confidently say is on its way to being resolved. There is still a lot that is outstanding, but looking at what has been achieved over the last six months, we can confidently say there is an opportunity for us and especially the people of Eastern DR DRC to enjoy peace and stability. Allow me, Mr. Chairman, to take this opportunity to congratulate East Africans on the decision that was made by the East African Head of State to step in the theatre of what was happening in Eastern DRC. Your Excellency, the decision by the heads of state to get into the theatre in uh, Eastern DRC and to work with our brothers and sisters in the DRC under President Felix uh, Shisekedi has yielded very positive results. Today, we have a full deployment of the East Africa Regional Force. In the last three months, Burundi, Uganda, and South Sudan have joined the Kenyan forces, and we are all present now in the theater. We want to thank President Shisekedi and the government of DRC for facilitating this deployment in the interest of creating an environment of peace and security and stability and to stop the wanton destruction of property, the wanton killing of innocent citizens, women and children that had become the norm in Eastern DRC. Today, Mr. Chairman, we celebrate the ceasefire that has now been holding for the last uh, two months and congratulate all the actors, the Democratic Republic of Congo's military, the East African Digital Force, and all the actors that have made it possible for us to have the ceasefire that we all wanted as a summit also to celebrate the gradual return of civilian life in uh, Eastern DRC and normalcy, even though there are challenges to it and the fragility, but we can confidently say there is a return of civilian life and normalcy in Eastern DRC. There is significant reduction of threat to Goma, Sake, and all the other towns